Welcome to CS Justice Response. I'm your host, Chase, here to answer your questions on any topic, Jungian analytical psychology, or the four sides of the mind, also known as four sides dynamics. Today's question is, how does an ISTP act charming to charm someone? And the source of today's question is none other than Cora. And uh, let's uh, take a look at this uh, particular um, question. Uh, this question uh, doesn't seem... Does, Cora, for some reason, does not like actually reveal who uh, asked the question sometimes, but uh, Josh Kim uh, requested uh, my answer to this question. So, okay, awesome. I will answer his question. Uh, the thing is, is that uh, the question is not being asked correctly. I have to uh, criticize the uh, question asker because ISTP's acting charming, is that like actually a thing? Eh sort of kind of maybe not really actually and i wouldn't recommend an istp act charming to anyone especially like for example to a woman and i'm assuming that since uh the question asker is a male person uh that the istp in the context of this question is a male asking uh to figure out how to charm a woman and uh Quite frankly, uh, there's a lot of factors that go into play here. So I'm going to start off with like the basic foundation and then get into some of the mechanics here to answer this question uh, appropriately. So in order for an ISTP uh, to even remotely think about charming a woman is that he has to have all of his manly bases c uh, covered first. Uh, in Western society, he needs to have his own job. Uh, his own vehicle or his own transportation of some kind and his own home or his own place uh, so that he is 100% self-sufficient. This is the number one thing that makes a man attractive to a woman. And if you want to find out more about that, then I suggest uh, uh, going to my other YouTube channel and watching the entire season four playlist. Uh, the playlist is titled, How Do Intimate Relationships Actually Work? And I walk you through the entire process of how intimate relationships work and what attracts a man to a woman, what attracts a woman to a man, and how to have the best possible relationship within a masculine-feminine relationship, uh, intimate relationship, etc. Uh, but first things first, you have to follow the king, warrior, magician, lover model. And most man children out there like to do it backwards. Uh, those are the four archetypes of the uh, mature masculine. And first things first is king where you prove to a woman that you can produce more than you consume, which very few people can, and most uh, people for some reason are out there chasing pussy when they're actually living in their mother's basement for some reason or actually in their parents' own home, which is completely unattractive and absolutely a waste of time. So you have no business getting with a woman unless you are like you have your own place. And the only way to like kind of skirt around that is like if you're in high school, for example, where everybody's already living at their parents and therefore it's socially acceptable. But outside of high school and for most people, like literally everybody else, you need to have your own place. That's just the bottom line. Man has to have his own castle. The castle is proof that he is a king of his own kingdom. And he has to be generative, uh, which means he produces more than he consumes. And this is attractive to a woman. He also needs to have the means by which to protect his kingdom, which means good health and uh, maybe survival skills, combat skills, uh, the capability uh, to be safe, etc., or to protect or keep others safe and to do his duty uh, as, as a king, basically a warrior king, and that is the warrior archetype. And then there is the magician archetype where he actually helps other men become king and warrior as well. And uh, then there's the lover archetype where it's not just necessarily his relationship with a woman, but it's just him enjoying life in general. Uh, for example, my wife and I are going to be learning longboarding together in the near, very near future. And while that is very scary to me, I'm just like, okay, I love my wife. We're going to do it. And we're going to have fun. And I'm going to make sure I'm wearing plenty of safety equipment because I am exploring my lover archetype with my dear wife, who I love deeply. Uh, so, but the thing is, is that most uh, men are immature and do those things backwards and they think it's all about, oh, I need to get my woman first and then I need to help out my fellow boys, you know, and have my own little crew, my own little gang, my little wolf pack, etc. And then, you know, we're going to, we're going to fight and cause some issues and then, and then we'll be generative later. We'll be responsible later. And that's like a huge turnoff to women in general. And ISTPs oftentimes have that problem, especially since they go out of their way to expect everybody else to be responsible around them, and yet they themselves are not responsible when they do that. This is known as hypocrisy. 
And uh, the thing is, is that they oftentimes they walk around in life thinking that, hey, as long as I'm not criticizing anybody else, then uh, I can be as irresponsible as I want, which is absolute BS. And a woman can smell that from a distance, especially a woman who is typically compatible with an ISTP. And uh, oftentimes they will not give him the time of day, no matter how much he wants her, no matter how much he desires her. So that's just kind of ridiculous. So the point is, the bottom line is, is that a, uh, a woman cannot be attracted to a man unless she first respects him. And if an ISTP is not self-sufficient, then a woman will not be able to respect him, therefore not able to be in a relationship with him. Uh, if she is, then she's not a quality woman and is likely a cheater or somebody uh, who will abandon him or betray him at the first opportunity in terms of some other man who comes by and it will end up giving her more status as a result. Uh, this is typical, for example, of ENFP women uh, getting a low quality ENFP women getting involved with low quality ISTP men. This is actually super common. So, uh, in fact, I was actually uh, helping out a coaching client with that earlier today. If you want to learn more about my coaching, go to csjoseph.life forward slash coaching if you want to become one of my coaching clients uh, right now. Uh, and we can like get to the bottom of things and actually help you out. So, uh, but the thing is, is that, you know, once you got that foundation, you are by, de by default attractive to women. And then you basically, with your NI child, because ISTPs like to choose their woman instead of being chosen. And the women that are attracted to them like to be chosen by the ISTP. The ISTP is then equipped with everything he needs to actually go out and seek out a woman to hopefully make her his his wife one day hopefully or at least have a, a, a very committed relationship long-term committed relationship of some kind remember the standard of intimate relationships within the csj community is do not have sex with a man unless he is willing to die for you do not have sex with a woman unless you're willing to die for her because that's the only way to fundamentally prove love etc and that also means that your woman has no right to disrespect you whatsoever if you're willing to die for her that's just the bottom line. And if your woman is being disrespectful, throw her ass in the dumpster and move on as quickly as possible uh, and move on to somebody else, a woman who will actually respect you, a woman who is actually loyal to you. You know, that, that's, that's pretty obvious. If a woman is disrespectful, she is not worth being in a relationship with. Uh, that's why, for example, in the Bible, it is written, better to be on the corner of one's own roof to be in your home with a quarrelsome and disrespectful woman, okay? I mean, that the reason why is because, you know, obviously as a man, you're not going to hate your woman. So your only choice is to just flee from her. And then in the fleeing process, well, if she's not going to take responsibility for her actions and uh, become respectful, then I guess your only choice is to find another woman who actually is. Fair enough. And oftentimes this is kind of how ISTPs are and probably should do. Otherwise, ISTPs will engage in a severe amount of melancholy and become super mega depressed because they feel trapped. And the entire stereotype of the ball and chain when it comes to like being married to a woman, it, this is why it's because of the ISTP vice of melancholy because ISTPs end up seeing their woman over time, a disrespectful woman over time, as a prison. And I totally understand how it is. That's why I recommend to those ISTBs to divorce those women as soon as possible, regardless of the consequences. There's always a better day, no matter how insurmountable, insurmountable your divorce may seem. Okay. Uh, so anyway, that's just kind of how it goes uh, in that regard. But let's talk about charming specifically. How, can, how does an ISTP act charming to charm a woman or charm someone? Honestly, if this is really centered towards a woman, okay, fair enough. Uh, but like, I'm going to assume this is about one because otherwise it's just, if you're going to be charming to people in general, I guess really just offer to help. An ISTP becomes more intelligent with their TI hero when they're using their expert feeling inferior to help other people, uh, but they have to get over their social anxiety first. And that's basically how they would charm someone in, in general. But that's not good enough when it comes to women. An ISTP seductive style, according to the art of seduction by Robert Greene, is known as the rake. And STPs are rakes. My wife is a rake. I love rakes. Uh, I love that she's a rake. And rakes are full of passion, almost uncontrollable passion to a point. And just uh, if you ever seen that film, Don Juan de Marco, uh, as played by Johnny Depp, it's got Marlon Brando in it. It's an excellent film. Uh, and uh, Don Juan de Marco is a rake. And he just is absolutely fascinated by women. And his charm 
to women is that he just is so passionate, so desirable, and he wants to give them an experience. He wants to give them sensations. He wants to think highly of them. He wants them to he wants to make them feel good about themselves, right? And that's all you have to do as an ISTP. So some pickup lines towards women who are um, who are very uh, uh, compatible with an ISTP, and these are typically women who dress for comfort, are dressed monochromatically, same colors, etc. Maybe dark colors. The higher uh, the darkness, uh, the higher the the dark colors that they wear, uh, the more uh, they want to be wanted. They come off being desirable, etc. Uh, and they're not really going to initiate with you. They expect you to initiate with them. And to initiate with them, it's pretty easy. Uh, here's the best pickup line for a woman like an ENFP or an ESTJ or an ISTJ for an ISTP. And it goes like this. Hello, what are you doing? That's it. That's like literally the best pickup line. What are you doing? Or what are you up to? Um, also, um, also tell them, you should give me your number. Always make it about what they should do. Don't give these women a choice. Be like, you should give me your number, or you should tell me a story, you should do this, or I want to go do this, you should come with me. Have that, uh, have that point of view uh, specifically, and uh, those women, uh, if you are a man who is respectable, if you are a man who is taking responsibility, if you are a man who is engaging in and building your king, warrior, magician, lover, masculine archetypes, which if you wanna learn more about those, you can watch, um, a season 13 that playlist on uh, my my other youtube channel check out that playlist it walks through all the mature masculine and the mature feminine archetypes according to robert moore and douglas gillette or you can just read their book king warrior magician lover however it only provides the masculine look uh, i uh, provide uh, some gaps to fill in for the feminine look uh, according to that lecture series if you want to learn more so anyway that is how an ISTP uh, would uh, be charming in order to charm someone. If you'd like a chance at your question being answered on this channel, please post it on Quora and tag me or leave it as a comment below. If you want a guaranteed answer for your question, become a silver member at csjoseph.life forward slash members and post your question on our private Q&A Discord channel where I'm answering all of your questions during a private uh, live stream each month. And the next one, I believe, is this Thursday. So you might want to check that out. Uh, please also make sure to like and subscribe to support the channel. We definitely appreciate your guys' support. It keeps the lights on. And anyway, with all that being said, folks, I'll see you guys tonight.